today I'm going to show you your makeup look. So I'm just taking out my rollers. I used my Shark Air Wrap. Then I just put in the Velcro rollers. Wow, this is, wow, this looks so good. Beautiful. I love it. I just like to use these little duckbill clips. Just want to make sure all of my hair is out of my face. Signature makeup look of mine, I feel like, is just very neutral. I like a full coverage look. I like bronzer. I like contour. I like blush. My lip combo is kind of like my favorite part of my whole makeup routine. I'm just going to go through every single step that I do. Keep in mind that this is just me and my look. This is not necessarily what I would do on somebody else or a client. I'm out of primer right now. It's at my house in Florida waiting for me. I bought it at the Sephora sale, but when I'm out of primer, I just take a setting spray and spray it all over my face. This is the Scandinavia Bridal 24 hour setting spray. That's my go-to. I like to push up my brows. So this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I just like to take a clean mascara spoolie every single time. These are disposable. You can buy them on Amazon. I will link them in my storefront for you, but I just am pushing up my brows. And I honestly do not worry about making these anything perfect. I feel like I reshape them when I actually put on the eyebrow product anyway. After I do that, I then take the opposite side of the mascara spoolie and I essentially just kind of glue the eyebrows down with that side. Concealer, I like the Hourglass Airbrush Vanish Concealer, I believe is what it's called. My shade is named Cedar and I am a big concealer girly, so I honestly put concealer everywhere. Put it under my eyes, on my eyelids. And that just evened everything out very nicely for me. I then am gonna go under the eye here. And notice with this, I just pull it out to the side. I'm not like bringing it down my face. Then I'm essentially just using this concealer as an eyelid primer. On a client, sometimes I'll use an actual eyelid primer. I like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. But if you don't have an eyelid primer, concealer works as an eyelid primer. For foundation, we are going to be using the Armani Luminous Silk. I am shade six and a half when I am tan. I am shade 5.5 when I am not so tan. No rhyme or reason. I just throw this all over my face. Don't forget to get your ears. Notice that my concealer is a lot lighter than the foundation that I use and that's just how I like it. That's okay. I just really want my under eyes to be popping. I feel like that looks good on the foundation. I do like to set my under eyes right away. I crease very easy and guys, people ask me all the time, how do I get my under eyes to not crease? You guys, that's life. They're gonna crease. No one is gonna have this insane perfect under eye unless you maybe have a lot of filler under your eye. Maybe that helps but nothing is ever going to be 100% smooth. We are human, we have wrinkles. I like to take these little powder puffs. This one is from Amazon. No sense in buying a big expensive one in my opinion. This is just a little Amazon powder puff. This is the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. This is the mini in shade Fair number one. This is just the little mini size. I like to have the mini size because then I can just throw it in my purse and take it with me. Next, I'm gonna do some bronzer. I am using the Say Cream Bronzer. This is called their Sun Melt. The shade is Medium Bronze. I personally like to use this brush. This is from the Morphe Ariel brush set. All of those brushes are absolute fire, by the way. And you notice I'm just putting this on the top of my cheekbones. I'm not gonna let that go below because that's gonna drag my face down. Remember with a bronzer, you want to do the areas that sun would hit you if you were outside on the beach all day long. I also will take a tiny bit and go along the sides of my nose here. 
So, I mean, I'm not doing, I don't do like a crazy chiseled contour look on myself. I just like to bronze things up. Moving on to blush. Right now I'm obsessed with these Dibs new powder blushes. This is the shade Spice Girl. And I like to do this blush a very certain way. So I like to use the Dibs um, Duo brush as well. But see how this is angled up? That's how I'm gonna put it on my face. And so when I'm dipping in here, the part that's going on the top of my face, I want to be the lighter color. And then the other color is the darker color. And this stuff is like really pigmented. So I just kind of hit a tiny bit of that. And I'm, I feel like I'm barely touching my face. I am just tapping and that product just flies <laughs> right onto my face. And I do like to bring that up into my temples. I feel like it helps continue to lift my face up. This is the Valentino Brow Trio. This is the best of the best. If you need a new brow product, go and buy this right now. This is just the shade brown. Unfortunately, they only have three shades and I just wish that they had more. So I'm taking the spoolie side of it. And once again, just kind of brushing through my brows that I had already pushed up. And this side is a pencil and the other side is like a felt tip, very, very skinny, where we can kind of just create brow hairs like that. To be honest with you, I don't necessarily use that side that much. I kind of more so use the pencil. So the trick with brows is that I like to start under, right there, just to kind of get my um, shape correctly, I guess would be the way to say it. And that just goes like halfway over. Once I get to the arch, I then like to kind of start from the top down because if I'm drawing heavy underneath the arch, then I feel like it brings my brow down. So at the arch, I'm working more so with the top of the brow and then on the inside, I'm working more so with the bottom of the brow. So once I have most of that eyebrow drawn on, I go back in with the spoolie and pull through everything again. Do not cut your brows short, bring your brow out because look at how that elongates and brings my eye out as well. This is a shorter brow. Look at this side of my face compared to this side. Snatched, not snatched. Right now I am in my one shade eyeshadow era. This is the Dibs eyeshadow palette. It's called Roses in Hand and I really like this rose gold color. My eyes are kind of like a blue green and I feel like this color just makes my eyes pop like crazy and I'm actually using the Dibs eyeshadow brush as well. Here's the thing is guys, if they made them to go together, they made them to go together for a reason. Kind of put this shade all over my lid once again, there's like nothing too crazy that I'm really doing with it. But the key here is that I do carry that out to the outside of my eyebrow. So I don't just stop everything here. We want to elongate and continue to snatch. So I bring that back to the eyebrow. So look at that eye compared to this eye. This is contoured and snatched. That is not. And look at how that totally changes the color of my eyes. That is crazy. Now that we have more of a face on, you can kind of see if you need more bronzer or whatever. So this is the Patrick Ta, this is the cream, this is the powder. The shade is She's Sculpted. And since I just feel like I need some more bronze, we're just gonna brush a little more. Sometimes it's so hard to tell how the makeup look is going. Because your lips are pale. It's almost like I have no lips. I like to use this little flat Morphe brush. You can see how skinny and flat it is. It is a Morphe 124. That will focus. Morphe 124. And I'm going to use this dark purple shade. And I'm just going to sweep this under my eye. This is my way of doing eyeliner without doing eyeliner. We are now going to do the same thing with the top of my lid. I just dip the little end of the brush in there. I'm not like doing anything crazy. And then I'm just gonna go along my lash line, essentially if I was putting on eyeliner. Now with the shadow, I do only go to the middle of my eye. I do not go all the way into the inner corner.
And if any of this product goes too low, take your puff with your little setting powder and just sweep it right under. I then sometimes like to go in with a felt tip eyeliner over that. This is the Clinique felt tip eyeliner in the shade Espresso, AKA Brown. And that's actually how I get into my inner corners. I just feel like I can be more precise with this felt tip liner rather than bringing the eyeshadow into the corner of my eye. This is the YSL Beauty Mascara in black and I am obsessed with it right now. Do your bottom mascara first. When you go to do it, your top lashes are hitting the top of there. And why do I wanna clean any of that up? That one gives the most insane volume out of any mascara ever. Woo! Mascara cocktailing is a thing, and if you don't know anything about it, you can just kind of Google it, and there's plenty of articles. This is the Say Beauty Mascara. Since this is a clean mascara, I'm gonna use this first. Um, this one gives length and volume. I would say it's like a pretty, I would say if the YSL mascara and the Tower 28 mascara had a baby, it would probably be this Say Beauty mascara. Say Beauty mascara by itself. Now let's put the YSL over that for great volume. In the caption and description for this video, I am listing all of the products that I'm using and links to them. So you guys can check that out just to grab any of the things that I am using. Just to compare the two, this eye has only the Say mascara on it. This one has Say and YSL. Look at the difference. This is why you need both of these mascaras to create a cocktail to make these literally this perfect. Our hair is still holding strong. We love it. Last but not least, the lip combo. Um, really, truthfully, in all honesty, there's only like three or four lip liners I even use um, on myself just because they are the best of the best. We're gonna start off with Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. And the reason that I always start off with this lip liner is it creates a really good lip contour and does its best to essentially have your lip combo blend with the rest of your skin beautifully. If you just throw on like a very pink liner, like Super Size Me by Charlotte Tilbury, that against my skin is so harsh. But when we use a nude color like this, that's brown based, this is kind of creating a lip contour and it's gonna blend into our skin way better. I just added a little bit more of this. I really like to overline my lips. So you can see that I overline the most here and then here I kind of go along the natural lip line, I overline the most here and then go over the natural lip line. If you overline the sides of your lips, you're gonna look like this. Who wants to look like that? Here's my biggest lip hack and I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I always do a colored liner underneath any lipstick that I am using. I've been in public and I'm like eating and drinking and these girls will look at me and they're like, how is your lipstick still on? I'm like, girl, cause I coat a lip liner on my lips. Lip liner just stays so much better. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and I, you can see, I just put that on literally as a lipstick. YSL just sent me their brand new lipsticks. This is the shade 44. It's honestly a little bit hard to tell on the bottom, but I think it's shade 44. It looks really pretty. I've literally never used it. So we're doing this together. First of all, I just wanna say that their lipsticks smell so good. But uh, this is beautiful, um, 10 out of 10 recommend. We just tried that for our first time together. YSL Candy Glaze, this is the shade 02, which I believe is called Sweet Pink. It is so shiny. Let's take this hair out so we can kind of see what I actually look like. I would say that I did a pretty okay blowout by myself. Like I said, I will link all the products in the description of this video. I hope you guys enjoy.